What's up guys, Neon, I'm back from the video, and I am back with my NASCAR Xfinity Series uh, Las Vegas race review. So, with that said, as I have had a momentary pause, uh, please make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't you be missed out on future uploads, and let's go ahead and let's chip into this. Also, use code ANJJ for free shipping and orders of $20 or more at Circuit Diecast. So, AJ Allmendinger qualified on the pole, and a lot of drivers went to the back with backup cars, um, coming off of what happened at Fontana last week, Auto Club, um, with NASCAR having it where, if you, whatever car you ran at, uh, for the Xfinity Series at Auto Club, you run it the next week at Las Vegas, and obviously some drivers got in wrecks and whatnot. Um, so, those drivers being Sheldon Creed, who qualified 8th, Bailey Curry, who qualified 27th. Uh, Landon Castle, 5th, Brandon Jones, 21st, Austin Hill, 15th, Kaz Grawa, 23rd, Jade Buford, 14th, JJ Ailey, 30th, Brandon Brown, 18th, and Stephen Parsons, 29th. Uh, Matt Mills with an engine change, Ryan Vargas with a transmission change, Ryan Ellis with an engine change, Jeff Burton with adjustments, Mason Massey with adjustments, and Ty Gibbs with adjustments also would start at the back. Uh, Sheldon Creed would, uh, with issues on pit road prior to the race. And then the race gets going, and on lap four, um, caution comes out for Ryan Sieg. He made, Ty Gibbs made slight contact with him, and Sieg got in the wall. Brandon Poole's engine also expired, and Sieg was not happy. Um, of course, redundancy here. He you know pitted too soon and got penalty for too many men over the wall, so it kind of really didn't matter because um, he was already a couple laps down anyway. But... We get, we get going again, and then we get um, another caution for uh, Debris um, a few laps after the restart. Pardon my momentary pause again. Uh, and then we got rain, so NASCAR had to throw out the red flag. And that apparently became snow in Las Vegas. I'm not making that up. Um, but it would take some time. The race would get going again, obviously. Um, Landing Castle, though, would have to drop to the back um, for a penalty for an air pressure change while under the red flag. Uh, pa with Bob Pocker saying that um, this was, you know, this penalty coming because NASCAR wasn't going to reopen the pits because they had already done taken the choose before um, the red flag had come out, so they were going to get the one to go and then go once the race got restarted. So. He had to drop to the back. Uh, Ryan C got the black flag for not maintaining speed um, a few laps after we got the race back up and going. And then the caution comes out as Sieg slowed up and tried to get into Ty Gibbs. Now, arguably, there was might have already been something wrong with the car, so that might have been part of the problem. But he probably saw Sieg in his rear or Gibbs in his rear view, and he's like, "All right, here we go. Fuck it." And so he tried to put pin Gibbs up by the wall. It kind of failed because he barely made any contact. And Sieg ended up being the one spinning out. But he also caused Brett Moffitt and Sheldon Creed to hit the wall trying to get around him. And Sieg's day was done. Uh, he would get called to the NASCAR trailer, him and his team that is. And we haven't heard anything uh, regarding that as of, you know, as of this upload. Uh, and Noah Gregson would take the stage one victory. Sam Mayer second, Josh Berry third, Ty Gibbs fourth, Ryan Truex fifth, AJ Allmendinger sixth, Austin Hill seventh, Brandon Jones eighth, Daniel Hemrick ninth, and John Hunter Nemechek in tenth. CJ McLaughlin having some issues on pit road during this caution. Anthony Alfredo had an uncontrolled tire penalty. Kyle Sieg had a speeding penalty, and Joey Gay had an uncontrolled tire penalty as well. Reports of light sprinkles in turn one, but the race would get going. Sheldon Creed would stay out under the caution. Uh, Brandon Brown would reportedly dealing with a left rear tire rub, and Creed also made con a little bit of contact with Noah Gregson and almost turned him early in the stage. Uh, Myatt Snyder would hit pit road at one point, and then Jesse Wuji would bring out the next caution. He spins but gathers it back up. No damage. Matt Mills gets a speeding penalty under this caution. Um, and then we get the restart going again. Austin Hill leaves Sam Mayer out to dry on the restart. Allowing Noah Gregson to take the lead. Brandon Brown still dealing with a tire rub. And then we get another caution. This time for a spin from the 92 of Kyle Weatherman. Hitting the inside wall. Uh, he's pit, got pissed at Joe Graff Jr. 
um, who thought and thinking that Joe got into him. Um, so that happened, and then the race gets going again, and then we got another caution. This time for Matt Mills taking a big hit to the inside wall. Uh, and what happened here, apparently, was Mason Massey had gotten to the wall on the backstretch, and as he did, Joe Graff Jr. Try took evasive action and to try and avoid him because you can tell in the replay somebody behind him got loose as Graff came down and Graff ended up hitting Mills and Mills got sent to the inside wall. Um, and Mason Massey would also spin. Graff got his car straightened up. Unfortunately, whether something broke or whatever, he ended up several laps down. Obviously, people pointed out on social media that this is the same, obviously the same car that Cole Custer won in last week, and Graf himself was running in like the top twenty-five or so. But it's like, so I've seen some people rightfully point out, Cole Custer is a Cup Series guy. Joe Graf Jr. is an Xfinity Series guy. Custer's had over two hundred starts. Graf's had what seventy or so. I do not understand the hate for Joe, and it pisses me off to see it. Like if. And what's even worse is people, they won't just go after him. They'll go after his own fan base because, yeah, he follows a lot of his fan base on Twitter. So fucking what? What the fuck's the problem with that? If you have a problem with that, fuck you. Like, bruh. Like, I've gotten to meet the guy. I met him at Loudon. His, but him and his buddy Nathan were, you know, were the reason why me and my friend Jonathan were able to be in the garage during the Xfinity race at Loudon last year. Like... Yes, Graf, you know, and also, not to mention, Graf is younger, you know, is young, he's still got plenty of time, he can improve, and he probably will, so if you have hate for him, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, please, anyway, moving on, this caution would pretty much end the stage, and Noah Gregson would take the stage to victory, Ty Gibbs second, Sam Mayer third, Austin Hill fourth, Daniel Hamrick fifth, uh, Brandon Jones, 6th, Josh Berry, 7th, John Hunter Nemechek, 8th, Ryan Truex, 9th, and uh, Justin Allgaier in 10th. Brandon Brown would stay out. Uh, Sam Mayer reported a clicking sound as he turned the wheel to the right um, under the caution, uh, which, I mean, you're turning left, so it doesn't necessarily matter, but it was a little bit weird. Um, and then the race gets going. Obviously, Brandon Brown's on older tires, and he ends up in the middle holding up Noah Gregson, which fucking sucks. Um, and then... Brandon would suffer a flat ref left rear, um, and he would end up making it to pit road. Later in the state, later on, uh, debris on the front of Justin Allgaier's car. He was able to get behind Alex LeBay before lapping him and get that debris off. Um, Jesse Wuji reportedly having a bunch of issues, twice having a loose wheel, and then having to pit again for a crew member for the wall too soon on the second time the, he had a loose wheel. Uh, as I said, Allgaier able to get the grill clean. No, Greg's reported that uh, his front right front tire might be cording and, the, and that the car is freeing up. Uh, so he ended up pitting early, you know, about a lap or two ahead of everybody else. Um, Kyle Weatherman gets a black flag for, me, for failing to meet minimum speed. His team get a chance to fix it. Gregson's team told him after he pitted that his tires were not corded and he reported back that he felt like something, you know, felt broke uh, one way or the other. Then we get green flag pit stops to start. Sheldon Creed gets a speeding penalty. Jeb Burton gets an uncontrolled tire penalty. Josh Berry would miss pit road after getting hit in the back by the 45. Luckily, he was able to save it. Uh, J.J. Yelly got a speeding penalty. Alex LeBay got a speeding penalty. Jay Buford got a speeding penalty. And then the caution that uh, Gregson pretty much needed, considering he'd be on older tires compared to everybody else. Uh, a big wreck uh, involving Stefan Parsons, Ryan Vargas, and Jesse Wuji. Landon Castle went for a slide in the process, but that was besides the point. Uh, Luigi got sideways in turns three and four, right in front of, spinning right in front of Vargas. Vargas gets into him, and then Parsons into the back of Vargas, causing Vargas's car to get up on the front, on, you know, Parsons' hood, uh, up by the wall, and you could tell Vargas was visibly pissed. Um, there's been discussion, you know, regarding Luigi, like. You know, he has this new team partnered up with Emmett Smith, and that's cool and all, but, and he also served for our country, which props to him, you know, ultimate respect there, but he's not the greatest when it comes to driving, and I, I think it was a matter of time before something like this would happen, and it probably could happen again, you never know, so, 
something to pay attention to just saying um graph would actually have debris on the front of his car prior to the restart um and then we get the restart and then sam Mayer makes contact with brandon jones and gets up into the wall caution comes back right back out again um let's say brandon just got into him it fucking sucks because Mayer had a hell of a day led a bunch of laps um just sucks to see that for him um and then the next caution comes out on the first lap after that restart in turn four austin hill riley herbs john hard and jack ryan shrex involved shrex gets into hill off turn four hill slams into the wall herbs gets by the spinning trucks without hitting him but then gets hit and turned you know later down the racetrack by aj allmendinger um Nemechek spins and goes down pit road somehow doesn't hit anything it manages to get it corrected uh, and ryan ellis was also uh listed as being involved didn't see how there true X and hill done for the day uh we get going with five to go ty gibbs able to hold off noah gregson and lead the rest of the way thought he might have jumped on the restart he did not uh, in reference to gibbs and gibbs would score the victory as the caution would come out on the last lap uh for a wreck with involving bailey curry and cj mclaughlin coming to the white flag gibbs had already taken the white flag so race is over and gibbs gets his first win of 2022 he's now locked into the playoffs so yeah quite the eventful race to say the least wanted noah to win in his hometown but he's i'll be honest with you though noah's having a far better start to his season this year than he did last year remember last year for a large part of the regular season there was a it was just bad luck on top of bad luck this year so far what he had a third at daytona i believe and then back-to-back second place finishes he's gonna get a win pretty soon i feel like and we're going to phoenix a track where he's pretty good at so yeah i think that win. i think that first win of the season is going to come sooner rather than later if i'm being honest um but congrats to ty gibbs obviously ryan Sieg's probably not happy about that you know with gibbs winning uh but it is what it is and Sieg, i'm gonna be interested to see what happens with him because yeah, that was a dumbass move to make, but but just saying. Uh, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.